Hello friends, Namaste. From today onwards, we are going to solve the problems related to development of lateral surfaces of solids. So let me see the let us see the problem. What is the given problem? Uh, the statement is been given. See, I am just taking out the data which is required for us to write the step by step methods. The first step is to write the initial initial position. So they are given the square prism. Okay. So it is a square prism of side how much 30 mm and axis length 60 mm resting on HP in such a way that all the vertical faces being equally inclined to VP. See what is the type of uh, type of solid we have? We have the solid is square prism. So therefore, which method does it come? It will comes under parallel line method. That means we are going to solve this problem with the help of which method? Parallel line method. So, so this is the first data which is required for us to write the step number one. The main important thing is the vertical faces being equally inclined to VP. See that means, so if I draw the square in corner condition, so that means it is going to satisfy that condition. How many vertical faces are there? There are four vertical faces are there. All the four vertical faces are going to make equal inclination with the uh, uh, with the VP, right? So this is a VP, and this one is HP, right? So this all these faces, so this is two to three, three to four, four to one, one one to two, all these faces is making an equal inclination with respect to the VP. So that is what this condition. So make a note of it. If all the vertical faces being equally inclined to VP. So if I need to satisfy this condition, I write the I need to write the initial square in a corner condition. Okay. Now, so let us before going to further, we should know the notations what we are going to use it over here. See, there are there is a bottom face as well as top face. We are we are going to give one, two, three, four. In the in the solids, we are giving a1 b1 c1 d1 for bottom phase whereas for the top phase we are going to give it as a b c d like that but in the case of developments we are following this notation what is that for both the corner that is a1 and a what you are giving the it is a corner 1 2 3 4 okay so this is the top view now what is the front view i have just drawn a projections and we are written the corners see this one is one dash two dash is visible three dash is visible and correspondingly here also it is one dash two dash three dash whereas this corner four dash is not visible and here also four dash see we have a vertical edges from one dash to one dash two dash to two dash four dash to four dash three dash to three dash and also we need to locate the axis or center see in the case of a uh, square if you draw the diagonals we can represent the axis so this one is the O so therefore what will be this one O dash and this is also O dash got this one so this is the front view sorry front view and top view of the given data so what is the next step so for this let me show you how to draw the development See how many lateral faces are there in the case of square prism. There are four lateral faces. So which are those? See the faces will be 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4 and 4 back to 1. So there are totally four faces are there. So let me show you how to draw the development. See I am drawing a parallel lines. parallel line like this okay so for initially everything should be in a light okay so now i am going to draw the first vertical edge i am going to name this one as what one and here also one so which is the next vertical edge one to two so what is the distance it is 30 mm so with the help of compass measure the distance of how much 
30 mm measure the distance of how much 30 mm with one as center i am going to cut the arc on this xy line so how much is this once again this is what this is 2 and this is also 2 next there is a 2 to 3 how much is the distance it is 30 once again i am going to draw it from here i am going to draw the vertical line upwards so this is a 3 and this is of a 3 next once again 3 to 4 so take the measurement from 3 to 4 it is how much 30 is already we have taken it so 3 to 4 and this one is 4 and back once again from 4 to 1 so 4 to 1 so this is the 1 so how many lateral faces are there so there are totally 4 lateral faces so which are those 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 and 1 1 so these are the vertical edges so how many faces are there 1 2 3 4 see this is the development of what square prism square development development of lateral surfaces surface of solid okay now so there is another condition which has been given in the problem what is that condition so that is a section plane see here it is cut by an inclined plane 60 degree to hp and perpendicular to vp and is passing through a point on the axis at a distance 50 mm from the base draw the development of lower portion of the prism so this is the given data now see section plane is inclined at an angle of how much 60 degree the passing through the axis at how much distance 50 mm from the base so therefore what we have to do is first from the base how much we have to measure from the base we have to measure 50 mm from the base this is the base i am measuring 50 mm above so where on the axis so here i am going to draw a horizontal line it's just a reference line line so how much is this so from year to year it is 50 mm and what is that telling it is the section plane is inclined at an angle of how much 60 degree to hp therefore from here okay 60 degree i am going to mark how much 60 degree what I am going to do, see, I am going to join this from the axis. See how to represent the section plane means as we are representing the axis line. One large line followed by small line. Large line followed by small line. Like this. Okay. So in the same way, I am going to extend it downwards also. So this is the section plane. See what is the angle it is making? It is making an angle of 60 degree. See only, so this section plane must be thin. Only at the edge it must be dark. So this is how we are going to represent the section plane. See why I am marking it downwards? Here I am seeing the arrow marks, I am directing it downward. What is the meaning of that? So they are telling that draw the development of lower portion of the prism see so i am going to draw the development of lower portion of the prism and we are going to remove the upper portion so that's why i am drawing the arrow mark downwards that represent i am going to retain the lower portion of the prism okay so after drawing the section plane now we are to see a section plane is cutting at what are the different uh, edges it is cutting see this section plane is cutting the vertical edge one dash and one dash at a okay a dash let me take this one as a dash and this section plane is cutting the vertical edge two dash and two dash 
at this point i am going to name it as b dash next section plane is cutting the c top face 2 dash and 3 dash at point c dash and also there is a another top edge which is the 3 dash and 4 dash that is cutting the top edge at the point d dash see here there is a 4 dash and also the 4 dash so therefore it is section plane is cutting that edge that i am going to mark it as e dash have you got this one see a dash represents what section plane cutting the vertical edge one dash and one dash at a dash so b dash means here the section plane is cutting the two dash and two dash that is b dash 3 dash c dash means so the section plane is cutting the word uh, top face edge that is 2 dash and 3 dash that is called as c dash d dash means the section plane cutting the top face edge that is 3 dash and 4 dash at the point which one d dash so in the same way e dash means the section plane cutting the uh, vertical edge that is a 4 dash and 4 dash at e dash see this section plane is cutting the various edges so some of the vertical edges some of the top face edges so that has been marked as a dash b dash c dash d dash and e dash see e dash and d dash is been placed inside the parenthesis why because it is behind that when in the front view we can't able to see those edges or those points hence it is been placed inside the bracket have you got this one so now after that we need to locate this a dash b dash c dash d dash and e dash in the development of this prism okay so how to locate the a dash see i am going to from the base 1 dash to a dash a dash i am going to mark it so i am going to measure from 1 dash to a dash i am going to transfer from one between 1 1 and 1 so this is what a dash so here also i am having 1 and 1 i am going to transfer this so this one is called as a dash and this is also a dash now take the measurement from 2 dash to b dash 2 dash to b dash so i am going to transfer this so here you have a 2 and 2 next so it is also equal to what 4 dash to e dash where is the 4 this is a 4 and this is a e right so this one is b dash and this one is e dash okay got this one so next c dash see where to take the measurement of c dash see we need some of the basics what we are studied in the projection of lines see to locate a dash i directly taken from the front view so why because this vertical edge is in true length okay so whereas to take the measurement of c dash so it is cutting the top face edge that is a 2 dash and 3 dash see so this top face will be in true length where in the top view so therefore what i am going to do is i am going to project this c dash downwards okay so this one is called as what c have you got this one the section plane is cutting the top face edge which is the top face edge 2 dash and 3 dash at the point c see why i am take, projecting it downwards because this vertical edge this edge sorry top face edge is having the true length in top face hence i am going to project it downwards so now i am going to take the measurement from 2 to c okay and this is also equal to what d okay so 2 to c it is in between 2 and 3 so i am going to mark this one so what is this this is a c dash in the same way take the measurement from where 1 to d sorry 4 to d it is between 3 and 4 4 to d so this one is also d dash see please remember my friends 
in the parallel line method see when the section plane is cutting the vertical edges then we have to take the measurement which one front view when the section plane is cutting the top face edges or bottom face edges we need to take the measurement in which view top view have you got this one okay so now what to do is we need to join this with a dark line a dash to b dash then b dash to c dash then c dash to 4 dash then 4 dash to sorry d dash to e dash then e dash to a dash and back to 1. Okay, and this from year to year it is be dark. See 1 to A dash it is dark, 2 to B dash it is dark, 3 to 3 dash it is dark, 4 to E dash it is dark. Okay, so this is the development of lateral surface of which one? Square prism. See, see we are going to return which face? Only the bottom portion hence the bottom portion must be dark okay got this one okay only the bottom portions must be dark and the corresponding edges must be dark okay so this is the development which satisfies all the given conditions which is in the problem Okay. Thank you. Namaste.